Okay, so I'm back. So I work it all out. I make it work because Don Smith is a fucking jackass. No joke. I'm sure he was paid disinformation agent by U.S. government to confuse the fuck out of everybody, right? And then they study everybody's research and see who corrects all their fucking problems for them. That's so the way the American government they work. Fuck them. Okay, so this way here that I have him arranged, he looked like a big cluster fuck. That is only because I throw this capacitor in. We have two extra wires on the capacitor we are not using. This wire here, hmm? the output that was hooked to that, and the spark gap wire here, the output that is hooked to this. Those are not being used right now. We are just charging the capacitor. So I will explain everything to you. We have DC voltmeter on here. Actually, two of them. We have uh, digital and we have um, this one. And then we have the running voltage. And then I will tell you what I would add to this system to make him do exactly what the fuck everybody wants. Because I'm pretty sure he's pretty well fucking worked out now. I make Don Smith fairy tale reality. <laughs> Maybe. We see how I feel. Okay. So we have voltage divider. Same way. All three resistors be equal value. Two mega ohms. I don't care the speed to charge the cap. I want to see that the fucking thing is functioning. Then we can change the values to get the speed we want at discharging this fucking source. Supply become source, right? Okay, all right. Okay, so we have um, two, two, two mega ohms. We have voltage divider going to earth ground, okay? First earth ground. So he should split the shit in half, but in Don's uh, drawings, it doesn't work because there's no return connection here to make it work. So it's like it fucking is fairy tale. This here is not fairy tale. This works. I will show you. So we have earth ground number one, and we have um, potential difference there, divider, and then we have another divider here going into here. So he is being reduced like three dividers, two on positive, one on negative, out of DC full wave bridge. Okay. So here we put voltmeter and capacitor, positive side, and, and then earth ground it out. Earth ground come back around through, up through this resistor and complete circuit. Here we put negative of, earth, of capacitor and second earth ground and negative of meter. And here we put digital meter right across capacitor. So we let him rip, huh? Okay, so he was running like 20, 2200. There's no capacitor. 2000 volt. He's running 15 watt. Open circuit at zero watts consumption. He's putting 314 into the cap. Okay. And then we turn him off and he will drain back into the earth because he is grounded. Okay, and that will drop. Now, okay, so now this is done voltage reduction. Okay, so we are, um, circuit is running open circuit, capacitor is full to a reasonable level that we can make use of the voltage, 300 volt DC, in two microfarads ready to dump, or to run MOSFET switch or invert or whatever, it's 300 volt power supply. Now, okay, so... That there functions there. We would change these values of these resistors, the voltage divider, to get um, uh, maybe more quicker charging on this. Here's only two microfarads. But the thing is, is that it is working, as you would expect, as a voltage divider. Now, uh, because Don doesn't have this connection, you make that and you don't make that connection, nothing fucking work. You all go dead. But um, the capacitor is supposed to be connected up here, according to Don's. He should be up there, the negative connection, after the resistor. And uh, in this circumstance, he is not. So I will probably maybe do that, and we should get maybe a higher voltage here. 
and then we will have uh, a negative resistance on this wire, the negative the ground wire. So the ground wire will connect here, going through resistor, and capacitor will connect where resistor connect. And that should give us a, um, a negative resistance there. I don't know the difference in the results, it may be. But uh, right now, he's doing what you would expect. So the improvement to this is there's no electron dam. The, uh, the electron dam right now is the uh, resonance in the circuit. So we would maybe want to put the capacitor up here on the output of this before all this gibberish and then reduce it from that capacitor. And then we were going to have something to put our load against, right? And then we will have it reduced like a transformer through capacitance coming out and with the voltage dividers, right? Coming out here, and if this was a larger electrolytic, big one, and then we can piggyback off of that with a choke or something, or a resistor, uh, to separate that it only fills that cap to full, and then we can put that cap and dump it, or whatever we want to do, right? We could, with a big enough cap right here, you can run whatever the hell you want. Brrr, any mo kind of MOSFET, ZVS, or any kind of shit like that, right? Uh, banger. IGBT, whatever. You can run that with that normal little circuit I was using before, that little cheapy. And IGBT, you can just set that to whatever frequency you want and just pull out of this big storage cap. That one he is working properly should be somehow charged from the earth grounds. But uh, Don Smith, there's a lot of bullshit with it, as I just pointed out. You miss this one wire that he doesn't tell you about, and of course it's not going to work. There's no complete path. Again, I will turn them on. So now we get 300 volt. He will charge to at zero watts, the whole way zero watt, right? Uh, he does not... Uh, um, oh, he does. He flashes a nanosecond. And then, and then there's zero watt. So I might, might be able to turn him down, I don't know. Maybe where he doesn't flash. Okay, there he doesn't flash. But that, it could just be the, the sample rate of the meter. It is, see, there he flash. So um, you're probably not gonna get a, a way of that inrush current. Maybe we could figure something out. But uh, 250 volt, we can turn him down. So this should be there pretty quick, really. I don't. I have not tried to short him. If I find a light bulb, I suppose I could try. But I don't know where light bulb is. Anyways, this here um, voltage divider, as Don Smith almost draws it, he work. He works here as I am using him. I don't know. We can turn him up so we use some watt, I guess. There he's taking 9 watt, about 350s. 360, 70, 80, 90, 30 volt here, 410. He's running at about um, 3 kV. So, if you understand now, if we had capacitor here, um, electron dam capacitor of capacity, and then through the divider, we end up with 400 volt there out of it. And then we just match the resistance to the amount of speed we want it to come out of the storage cap to the little cap, which the little cap would be a great big fucking cap, right? Okay. And there he's running 9 watts and uh, just bumping it. Uh, solid, right? So we turn him off, and he will slowly ground out because he is earth grounded. Great.